Now to a story we've been following since Friday night at 10. A man shot and killed at a restaurant on Bel Air in Derry Ashford. And tonight we're learning more about the victim. He's 57 year old Herman Ray Browning Jr. He was a father, brother, and a friend now gone, leaving family members searching for answers. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez talked with Herman's sister along with friends. Good evening. Police say two robbers shot and killed Brownie in this restaurant behind me as he was trying to stop them. His family still can't believe it, but they say it wasn't out of his character to fight for what's right. It's kind of lost right now. Just don't have my big brother anymore. Her big brother, 57 year old Herman Ray Browning Jr., was killed just days ago. Tears don't show her real pain. There's no man, better man than I know, other than my dad, who passed on already. But they don't make him like that anymore. And it's not only family members who looked up to him, it's friends like Tommy Wade. Good man. Don't get a better man. I've never, never. Walk beside a better man. And co workers like David Cattle. I'd do anything for anybody. Uh, he's, he's just one of the good, good guys. Brownie was inside this restaurant with his wife and eight year old son last Friday night. Police say two armed men wearing masks tried to rob the restaurant and everyone inside. They say Browning fought back and they shot him. His family watched it all. He would not have done that unless he felt he had to. Because um, he would not have left his wife and his son for anything. Brownie was also a Marine and a longtime employee of Phonoscope Communications. While this family remembers the good times, they hope his killers realize the devastation they've caused. You took a really good man out of this world for no reason. And uh, you've destroyed the world of a family. It's very heartbreaking for this family tonight. They set up a GoFundMe account to help his wife and his eight year old son. If you'd like to donate, just go to our website, click to Houston.com under Top Stories. Reporting in Southwest Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.